when we're closing on a three budget option or three price option, make sure the good, so it's good, better, best, one, two, three, three being the highest price, one being lowest. The first option and second option should be the low and the high end range of the budget you've got an agreement to. If the client says I can afford 50 to 75 a month, I 100% can do it earlier, then at this point you show a 50 is the good and the 75 is the better. The best should be an interval above that. So in this case, we want a stretch goal because there's always a percentage of people that pick the third option, okay? So give them a third option outside of the budget so you can increase your take home. If you leave the third option as a 75, they'll take it. Many times they'll take the 100 if you just showed it, okay? So we want in this case, the good to be 50, the better to be 75, and the best to be 100. The next thing you need to do at the close is to offer a recommendation. Why? Because at the close, people tend to have a little fear, doubt. Their world-class procrastination behavior runs amok. Maybe I can put this off tomorrow to another day, year, decade. It happens. And there's that stress of knowing that it's time to make a decision to buy. We try to circumvent it, overcome it by telling the client or recommending to the client our professional opinion, what's going to suit them best. So at this point, we want to say, um, so here's your three options, good, better, best. We don't say good, better, best, the 50 to 75 to 100. My recommendation to you is out of these three options to either go with the middle or the third one. Here's why. Whatever the explanation is, it needs to be real. Again, example, somebody's 50. There's a 15, a 20,000, and a 25,000. They want to be buried. I'm recommending the second and the third option. And then what I'm going to say is I recommend you either do the 20 or the 25,000, Ms. Jones, because you're 50. You've got a long ways to go. And if you buy the, the first option, it's not going to be enough to cover your burial in the next 10 to 20 years. The best thing you can do while it's as affordable as it's ever going to be is while your health is as best as it's ever going to be is to lock in the second or the third one, in my recommendation, my opinion, to get yourself the most covered for the least amount. That's going to do the best job for you. So I've set up a recommendation. I've, I've referred, I've given a, a reason for it that's based off of a rational reason, inflation, right? And then I tell them, which one of these do you want to start with? So I still give them full option, but I, I strengthen or bolster whatever recommendation I'm doing so they know where my opinion stands because they're going to be searching for it, okay? They're going to want your help to pick for them. A lot of people don't like making decisions on their own. They need the help from a professional. So lead them to what you think is best. Again, don't always pick the best one. Don't always suggest the highest price one. That's not the point. It has to be authentic. It has to be based on reality. I may, if they are strictly just wanting to be cremated, I may only recommend the 15,000. I'll say, hey, you just want to be cremated. That 15 is fine. You can get the higher one, but really if all you want to be is cremated, that one's going to do the job today and for the conceivable future. So which one do you want to start with? So, so they appreciate the autonomy they get to make the decision on their own, but they also appreciate the leadership and transparency on thinking in what's best for them, right? Gives them confidence to buy. So once you close, what I want you to remember is there's a pain and there's a, there's a risk, there's fear, there's all these emotions that happen at the close when you got to make a decision. They got to think about what they're never going to spend that money on anymore, what they could, their options. And when they make a commitment, you have to get off of that commitment of the, the pain that comes from it to the pleasure of solving it. In other words, when the client says, I'm going to pick that one, you're going to go with the 10,000. Excellent choice. That's the best choice for you. Who do you want your beneficiary to be? There's no side talk. There's no cross talk. There's no going back to anything that said prior. The deal is done. It's time to get into the application. Get out of talking about something that's not related to completing the deal. You've closed the deal, but now you got to get the thing approved. So get away from the pain of the price and get into the pleasure of solving the problem. Who do you want your beneficiary to be? Who do you want to benefit from this money? Maybe even say it a little bit more direct. 
So who do you want this $10,000 cash amount to go to when you pass away? That may be a better way to say it than who do you want your beneficiary to be? Point being is get off of those prices and onto who you're going to help out with those.